You so fucking precious when you smile. Yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild. In those eyes, I just had to let you know you're So right here, I just got off of work, uh, looking a hot mess. About to hop in the shower and wash my hair and everything. I'm showing y'all how what I'm working with before I wash my hair. Looking dry and just raggedy. And right here, I just got through washing condition. I mean, washing, shampooing, all that to my hair, and I'm about to. <clears throat> This is deep conditioner. I'm going to let that sit for about 30 minutes or so. And that's after I done rinse it out. The shrinkage is real and everything. And I'm going to blow my hair out to um, be able to work with it a lot better. So right here, I'm, um, I blowed blown out half of my hair just showing y'all the shrinkage um i have cut a little bit off to try to get rid of the blonde and the damage so it is shorter than what it's supposed to be and then right here showing all the length and goodness of a blowout i could i could have done better but anyways yeah now i'm gonna show y'all in the other way, a selfie way, in a minute. I'm just playing around with my blowout and everything. Right here, I'm just showing y'all how I'm sectioning it. I'm doing it like I did the box braid method with the rubber band method. So I can keep the sections um, separated well. And I take the braiding hair and I cut it in half. And I do the same thing with the uh, very curly hair that I put at the end of my goddess locks. As I'm showing right here. Oh, I think I'm just showing y'all, like, how big the piece I'm using or whatever and what I'm doing. So, instead of starting braiding from the very top, I um start braiding, like, half, like, a little bit down from my roots. And right here I'm showing y'all me cutting the curly hair. Um, So, first what I did, I braided my hair that sectioned and then... I braid, I braid um the braiding hair so I can have a little bit length away from it. So when I take them down, I can just cut the bottom and then undo it. So I won't cut my hair. And then I take the curly in and I braid the curly hair at the end of the braiding hair. And by the way, at the end, I do not burn my. I did not burn mine because I did not feel like having my locks sticking to each other sticking to my clothes because one is very painful and two i just don't feel like pulling my locks apart all day every day while i got these in so i can love them and keep them in longer So the gel that I'm using is this one right here, the Shining Jam 
around my edges. I use it around like the back edges and the front so I can make it look all neat and everything in the beginning. And right here I'm showing you, as I said, I'm doing the rubber band method to keep it sectioned very well because <clears throat> I'm very bad with having hair in the other part of my other braids. And as you can see, I'm braiding my hair all the way down. And then when I get to the very end, I grab braiding hair, go a little bit down from my roots, about an inch down from my roots. And I braid, the third strand is my braid, well, my hair. And I braid all the way down until I run out of my hair, I believe. <laughs> And then once I get to the bottom of my hair, then I grab the curly hair and add it in. And I add, I separate it so it will look like more natural kind of. So it won't look like a, you know, a uniform curl. And I braid it all the way down until I get to the end of the braided hair. And I just let it hang loose. So I am done. This is the halfway result of the prepping. I'm gonna have to braid that back in there, but I'm gonna have to be very careful after I braid that back in and tie my hair up and go to bed and I will finish the rest of it tomorrow. So yeah. So right here I'm showing y'all um how I'm going to be wrapping my hair. It really became it really was easy for me uh, to wrap my hair. Um I watched like a whole bunch of YouTube videos before I even attempted to do this. So like the other videos, I put part of the bottom of the the Marley hair like down the side next to my braid hair well my hair and I like twisted it at the roots to secure it and then after I secured it or wrapped it around a good amount of times then I started wrapping it downwards around my hair making sure that the hair the Marley hair is flat and to make sure it's tight I kept my finger as you can see, I'm keeping my finger on it and making sure it's flat so it can cover all my hair. And to make sure that it's tight so it won't end up loosening up. And after when I get to the bottom, when I get close to the curly hair, then I start wrapping back up my lock. And when I get to the end of the Marley hair... Um, I just keep wrapping it until like there's like little just a little bit of strand. Just keep wrapping until I'm out of hair. I never, I did not glue. I did not burn. I did not do anything like that to keep it to keep it secure because I did not feel like dealing with all that hard work afterwards to try and get this undone I want to make it as easy as possible to take this out of my head as you see on this part I'm separating the hair apart so it'll be easier so when I wrap it around my hair it'll be flat and cover it all my hair Precious when you smile. Yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild. Yeah. Girl, I lose myself up in those eyes. I 
just had to let you know you're. Oh, yeah.